gonna do some legs today. We're gonna do some legs. This is our leg day. We're gonna start with some stretching. It's like some dynamic warm up. That's a warm slash up. We're gonna do squats and leg hammy raises. So I'll quickly show you a video of those. And then to burn out, um, we're gonna isolate some muscles. We're gonna do bootstraps. And then we're gonna do some weighted hip press with an emphasis on squeezing that glute med and the relationship that the hamstring has with their butt. So stay tuned for some more. Or you can do it like this. This one's better for the hamstrings. Your butt, drive your chest through. Use your hand right here, elbows to push out your knees. Move the stand to that, hands up. Stand up. One more of those guys. Nice, try to get those legs straight. We get a nice stretch all the way through those hamstrings, back to the calves, and then drop, drive your chest through slightly, turn your toes out. Chest nice and proud, try and get your back as straight as possible. Really dig those hips in. And then hands up, stand up. Does she squat? Yes, she does. Gauge those lats all the way through. Perfect. These ones look really good, babe. Alright, so these are those leg heavy raises that I was going to show you. It's great to have a workout partner. So you got my girlfriend, which is always a positive. So she's gonna hang on to my ankles. I have a tendency to, to feel like I need to claw the earth, so I'm gonna I'm gonna lift my toes to expose them. So I wanna do this all the time with my toes. I'm always in plantar flexion, so I wanna do dorsiflexion. So I'm gonna dig my toes in, engage my core, squeeze my butt. So that's the first thing I do is squeeze my butt forward. From here, I'm gonna slow contract, fall forward using my hamstrings. And then when you fall, fall and use a little bit of a push. To pull yourself back up. So again, core is engaged. Bring my hamstrings into it. Yes. Two. Woo. This tends to bug her kneecaps a little bit. So for her, I suggest going just a smidge wider with her stance until she gets ready for it. In the meantime, what that'll do is help strengthen the interior, the medial side of her hamstring. So she's gonna be nice and slow and controlled. Yes, there it is. Next up. Bring the butt with you, bring the butt with you. Squeeze it, core nice and tight. Yes, perfect. Back up. Yes, there it is, well done. Two. Ladies, this helps you get a nice butt. This gets that muscle, this guy right up in here, right underneath that butt cheek to help create that nice big bubble butt. Bootstraps are good for your quads, particularly your vastus medialis here. Uh, this is. This is a weak muscle and all people, all athletes, because everybody can be an athlete, that muscle's weak. And you usually see it when people squat as their knees come in because they don't have the strength in their VMO to drive their knees out, to keep their knees out as they come down for a squat. So there's lots of exercises you can do. They've got like Poliquin step ups, which I'll show you another day. Thanks to Charles Poliquin for those ones. Um, there's another one that starts with a P, I can't think of it off the top of my head. But it's another Charles Poliquin one. I like these ones. They don't necessarily work the VMO per se. They make it burn, but they're not the uh, vastus medialis exercise. They do work it, but it's not an isolation of it. I like it after squats just to burn out my quads. So when you come into this, you want to tuck your toes underneath. I like to go on my knuckles because it's easier on my wrists. And from this position, my feet are about shoulder width apart. I'm driving my butt straight up in the air through my legs. So I'm like straightening my leg. I'm thinking about slamming my legs straight back, okay? Every time you come back down, your knees must, absolutely must, touch your hands. If they do not, you are not doing the movement properly. That's like doing math without putting the, the, the sum of all the totals at the bottom. So we're going to do 20 of them. 
Ready, here we go. Touch it every time. Okay. Start to burn. Big burn right into the top of the quads. Those are bootstraps. So Opal's gonna do a hip press. So the objective is to make sure that you shorten the distance between your heels and your butt. Okay, you really want those nice and tight. You want your knees directly above your ankles. So you can see that nice line there. What she's gonna do is through her heels, she's gonna drive her butt straight up to the ceiling and squeeze, contract her butt. So it's a butt exercise. So we're aiming for right in this region. Good, nice big. You can see, I don't know if you can see it because she's wearing black, but this is her piriformis right here. Big squeeze, so she's gonna do 20 of them. Here she goes, that's one. Big squeeze every time. She feel right top of the hamstring, right where the hamstring meets the butt all the way through the glute, piriformis. Another thing you can do is as you come up, this is a very unattractive picture, is to spread your knees. There we go. Good. Drive them out so you get that big butt squeeze. There we go. Feel that? 